Do you want to know a joke? Okay. If you do, um, if you do, uh, what did the door say to the other door? Don't know? I adore you. <laughs> say a bit of a corona coaster that has the ups and downs coronavirus i i know is hard for some people but for me i love it i can draw in a coloring coloring book and um i can play in my room more and i can spend time with my family At the beginning of lockdown i had uh, the coronavirus so that wasn't great um, but even while well, experiencing that on a physical level, which was difficult, um, I was able to connect to a really supportive community online. I had a lot of support, you know, from friends and family. So it affected my breathing really badly and I was drifting in and out of consciousness and I felt at times it was a bit like a medicine journey, a bit like uh, being on ayahuasca. So there were times where I'd be almost like journeying with the virus. On a real cellular level, I, mean, I could feel my lungs, the, con con uh, the constriction. And there would be times where it, I could hear, it sounds bonkers, but a bit like a dream state, but I could hear the virus almost saying to me that we all need to breathe together, that Mother Earth needs to, everyone to breathe together, that we need to take care of the waters, the oceans. Yeah. I've been out in the woods. When we went outside to the woods, we played hide and seek. Of course, not in the whole woods because that would just be a bit mental. But um, in the woods, like the woods in a square, basically, the main part of the woods. And today, I've just played Monopoly with my brother, my mum, and my friend. And yeah, it's been really fun. So um, after uh, feeling stronger in my health, I've uh, been doing lots of Zoom meetings. Some of them have been like dance parties on Zoom. Done a bit of DIY, teaching you DIY, how to paint your room, uh, making some mid-century day beds, lots of organizing, still seeing clients. Well, I'm really lucky that, you know, I, I've been used to working online with clients because I see people all around the world. Um, so on many levels, it's not that different. And I think the work transmutes well to online. I do miss seeing my clients in person because it means, you know, we can't just go down to the garden and, and light a fire if we want to move through some, you know, strong feelings or go down to the river and you know, work with the water, but yeah, I'm really lucky. There are a lot of people that haven't, that have lost work, so I'm fortunate. I've been being a teacher with your younger brother. Um, I like homeschool. Mm. Really like homeschool. Well, I think they're better teachers because they know me and I know them. And I think my brother teaches himself, so that's good. It's not my best skill. Um, yeah, I chose to be a parent, not really um, a school teacher. Um, that being said, he's been doing really, really well. Um, we've found our own way of kind of making it work um, and finding things that he wants to learn about, which is nice. Do you think lockdown's given you more time to spend with your family? Yes. Is that a good thing? Norm yeah, because normally I'm at school and ah. I can't really... And my brother is at school and he comes back when I go to bed. So I don't really get to see him. I only get to see him in the morning. But now he's at home. So all he can do is spend time with his friends or spend time with his family and that's me. Well, you know, there's a lot of lives that's been lost. And there's still a lot of vulnerable people that need protecting. Um, I'd like to 
I suppose for me I'd rather think about what we can gain from it and I think you know that's a, an awareness of community and our own health you know trying to stay healthy and, and prevent illness um, I think economically it's not going to be great I, th I think that it's been good for the environment I would like to see the NHS uh, be properly resourced that's what I'd like to see um, with regards to keeping people safe I don't know I don't know what's going to keep people safe I think it's really hard to keep monitoring the social distancing um, and a lot of people are really missing connection you know I'm really missing connection and what do you think is a good good bit of advice keep writing if you if you're at school if you're supposed to be at school and stay safe and if you could give some advice for everyone in lockdown at the moment what would you say is most important to you hmm. know that safety comes from the inside out not from the outside in so you know i don't think it's helpful when the government say things like stay alert and stay safe because that actually can be triggering for people so it's anxiety so learn how to self-soothe learn how to down regulate so things like stroking i don't sit on self like so massage yoga um you know mood and food so dancing music eating healthy yeah getting some fresh air connecting to nature laughing 